Greetings! Today I'd like to speak to you about the new and important developments concerning the EN388 standard. During the coming year, the EU will enact the most sweeping revisions to the EN388 standard since its inception over 20 years ago. Improved testing protocol is the result of the new standard and will allow you to more accurately select the right hand protection based on more rigorous and standardized test methods. At Ansel, our job is to keep you well informed. Our sales representatives understand what the new regulations require and how the tests have changed. You can rely on us to keep your workforce well protected and ensure your teams have the right glove for the right job. And I can report that Ansel is well ahead. Product development teams are working diligently to expedite the compliance of Ansel's EN388 styles. It's our goal to make this complicated regulatory initiative remarkably easy for you. Thank you. This technical standard for mechanical protective gloves was published for the first time in 1994. It ensures these gloves are conformed to the PPE legislation. Until today, no significant change has been made. However, during these last 20 years, gloves have gone through a serious evolution with new innovations in materials and coatings. The standard needed clarification in the market and there was a call to action to unify all gloves to a common testing methodology. In some of the test techniques we have changed some things, for example for the abrasion resistance. The main difference is the abradant. In the past we had an abradant uh, where the product quality could not be assured from the manufacturer that was delivering the abradant. The new Kling's pore abrasive paper will provide more reliable and consistent test scores. This ensures all gloves are rated consistently and accurately. A specific area of the glove is cut out and positioned on a circular disc that rotates for a period of time. The performance level is recorded by the number of cycles indicated on a scale from 1 to 4. Furthermore, test standard is also a little bit more in detail, so you have a little bit more explanation how to do the test. So that's the main difference for the abrasion test. Then if we uh, have a look at the cut-resistant test, there the main changes are the high cut-resistant gloves that you see uh, with the preliminary test, that the cut-resistance of the glove is very high, and you can go to the isocut test to get the evaluation of your glove. So you will get a new uh, extra figure in the uh, complete quotation of your glove. For the EN ISO 13997 test method, a specific area of the glove is cut and fixed to the TDM cut test machine. Six performance levels have been defined and will be used when the circular blade on the coupe test becomes dull. Impact protection within EN388, a pass or fail test method will be introduced for gloves that claim impact protection. Passing gloves include a P in the sixth position in the performance level. Keep in mind that we are testing in a lab, so the reality will be quite different. So it's important uh, to bear in mind that you will have other influences like soiling, like, uh, for example, uh, weathering conditions that we cannot test in the lab. So it's quite important to get very good information from the experts in, in uh, industry that really know which glove would be best for you.